We want to welcome everybody to the West Side 3 42 inch water transmission main meeting. If you have a question during the presentation, you can always post it in the chat. That's going to be the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We will host, we will uh, take those chat questions first after the presentation. And then if we have any call in users, they can uh, ask their questions after we field the chat questions. And I am going to hand this over to Walter Norwood, who is your project manager. Walter. Uh, thank you, Sally. And I am Walter Norwood. I'm the project manager for the city of Fort Worth Water Department. And this is the West Side 3 42 inch water transmission main public meeting. And we are in the design phase. So this is not a construction meeting, it's a design meeting. Today, we're going to introduce some of the other uh, professionals involved. We're going to have an overview of the project and the area that we're working in. And then we're going to review some of the frequently asked questions. Here's my contact information. It's 817-392-5026 is my phone number. And my email address is walter.norwood. W A L T E R period N O R W O O D at Fort Worth, Texas, all spelled out dot G O V dot gov. The uh, design consultant we're working with is Kimley Horn Associates. Jennifer Tatum, Kyle Wend Weldon, and Shelby Worchesick are also on, on this meeting. This this, is, this project is for a 42 inch diameter water transmission main that will be constructed from the west side water treatment plant on Old Weatherford Road and then travel south to a water ground storage tank just south of Interstate 20. The improvements are in Council District 3 and in Fort Worth's extraterritorial jurisdiction. Again, this is the design phase. We're having this meeting to get input and to inform the citizens. The alignment can still be changed. So this is not the exact line alignment or may not be the exact alignment. So this is part one of this project. First, you could say first phase of the 42 inch. It'll go from the treatment plant on the west side on Old Weatherford Road. It will go south to along uh, Chapin Road and then west towards Mary's Creek and then due south again to I-30. That's That will be part one. The main will end on the north side of I-30 where it will connect to part two. There's a map shown here that describes or that shows what I described. You can see the, uh, the landfill area in the lower corner in the lower portion of the map. We're going along the north part of the landfill and along the west side. This map shows part two, which will be bid separately and may be constructed at the same time but it, it begins at I-30 on the north side of I-30, travels due south and then west towards the Lost Creek Golf Course. It'll be just west of Link Crest Drive, Knoll Ridge Drive and the golf course and travels south to I Interstate 20 just, just to the south of Interstate 20, and it will end at a future ground storage tank. The ground storage tank is also called the West Side 3 ground storage tank. And then there is another, or other ground storage tanks and pump stations in the area, but. This project is one of five in the west side area that will bring water to future development. 
The other west side projects include the west side three 24 inch water transmission main, the southwest five elevated storage tank and water transmission main, the Markham Ranch pump station and ground storage tank, and the west side four elevated storage tank and 36 inch water main. So a water transmission main is a large pipe, usually for Fort Worth, that means 16 inches or larger. And it's designed to move large quantities of, quantities of water to portions of the system where it can be distributed in the smaller mains and eventually to customers. The next steps in this, Project are to complete the design and finish acquiring the easements, advertise for bids, open the bids. City Council will then approve the bids and award it to a contractor. Then we'll have a pre construction meeting with the contractor and our inspectors, and then we'll have another community meeting to, for you to meet the contractor and get the exact schedule for this project. And as I said before, both parts of these could be constructed at the same time. If we can get all the easements we need, the project start date is fall or winter of 2022. We'll be able to get additional information about the project on the City of Fort Worth website at www.fortworthtexas.gov slash projects slash CFW dash West side W E S T S I D E dash three the Roman numeral three dash forty two dash inch the word I inch word inch I N C H dash water dash transmission dash main. You can also go to the Fort Worth Texas dot gov website and put the project number in and search for it. The project number is 102688, 102688. The link to this meeting video, the project map and the project summary and frequently asked questions will be linked to this page. Again, I'm the project manager, Walter Norwood, 817-392-5026 and walter.norwood at fortworthtexas.gov. If, if at any time during this project or any other time, you see an emergency that involves our water system, you can call our water main breaks and sewer backups 24 hour a day hotline at 817-392-4477. And you can select option one. During working hours between 7 and a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, you can call the same number, 817-392-4477, and the phone will be answered. You don't need to select option one. This number is not answered on holidays. You can also download the MyFW app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns with this app. That is the presentation. We are open for questions now. Walter, we don't have anything in the chat. Does anybody have a question for Walter about this project? I do. Okay. Go uh, ahead. Do you, do you know which side of Chapin it's estimated that the water line will be installed on? Um, Jennifer, Jennifer is the, uh, the project manager for the consultant and like I said, the design's not complete, but I'm going to let her uh, speak to that. Okay. Yes, um, currently the alignment is showing kind of on the east um, side in the kind of on the edge of pavement along Chapin Road. Do you know if any trees or fencing will need to be removed? 
during that because I, I say this because I've understood that ours is actually within the right of way. Yes, so I'm, I don't believe we, I think we were trying to avoid um, any fence replacement. Um, the water line is more in the pavement. Um, so we'll have like probably one lane of traffic, but we know it is a little bit tight in that corridor. As far as trees, I don't recall, but we can look into that and get back to you if you wanna okay. leave your information. Okay. Yeah, and I can reach out to Walter so you guys have okay. my info. Yes, that would be great. Good question. Uh, anybody else have a question about the alignment or what might happen during construction? Again, this is only preliminary. Okay. One more chance. Jack, did you have any questions? I am all good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, if there are no questions, we should have this um, YouTube video on the project page. This is Wednesday, no later than Friday morning, and we also do written summary FAQs in English and Spanish. So if your neighbors were not able to attend, they can go to the project page. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. For Thank you.